Hello friends, my name is Bhavesh and in this video we are going to discuss about the library function in C programming language. Large number of library function that carried out commonly used for calculation and operation available along with the C. For example, function and their purpose. First we will discuss about ABS of I return absolute value of i sign d return sign of d get char gets a character from a standard input device like keyboard if you want to input some character from your keyboard you have to use get char in your program printf prints a formatted output on screen square n returns the square root of n power m comma n returns the power of m raised to n if you want some equation in the form of m raised to n then you have to write power m comma n in this way So these are some functions in C programming language. The compiler knows the exact meaning of them. This library function cannot be used as the variable name because the compiler already know compiler already knows the meaning of them. In order to use this function, we need to include them into our program. These functions are stored in specific file called the header file each header file contain information about group of related libraries function header file the concept of the header file is like this suppose these are two bags one is of apple bag a and another bag having a chocolates bag c if you want to eat the apple from this bag, you will open the apple bag. And if you want to eat some chocolates, then you will open the chocolate bag. Somehow like this, header files uh, have some specific function. Like if you open stdio.h header file in your program, then it contained printf, scanf, and some other function like this. If you want to perform mathematical operation, you need to open math.h file. Maths.h file in your program. This file contain power function that we have already discussed in the previous slide square square function and some other function so how can be this done this can be done using the preprocessor directives as follows hash include file name if you want to open the stdio.h in your program you need to write hash include stdio.h in your program after writing this statement you can use the printf and scanf function in your program if you want to perform a mathematical operation then you write here match.h then you will able to perform the mathematical operation in the next video we are going in detail and discuss about the printf scanf function